Yes. This is my LX-178 with the Piranha deck. And you know what? I don't even know how wide it is. It's a uh, 44 inch and it has six blades on there if you can believe that. So, I want to lift it up into the air so I can uh, check why I'm getting a rooster tail off of the first set of blades. Right? Now we're gonna do we're gonna check everything of course. It's got some broccoli under it from last year. Bad Bruce, bad Bruce, bad Bruce. But I'm gonna use my hoist. Chain hoist. But right now I thought I was really, 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 really smart because the last time I used it I put it there so I could swing stuff onto the bench. Yes, this is mostly gardening stuff right now. It's gardening season. And don't move too fast. So my deer hang and do hummer is going to go there and the chain hoist is going to go there. I don't know if you guys want to watch or not. Maybe you do. That should work. Now, uh, I'm doing all this because we're supposed to get thunder showers this afternoon and I'd like to get the lawn cut and a small amount of fertilizer put down. My mid-season half, 50% amount. So let's do this. There are three quarter inch bolts up there. As all my co-workers would know, ex-co-workers. Cambrel, is that what they call this thing? Ambrel, Cambrel? Oh, shoot. Okay, well those are, looks like half inch. I'll be back. That's right, because they're a smaller... They're a smaller bolt. I forget what they call the do hover A-frame thing they hang meat from. down first. Will it stay there? It should. It's tie wrapped and clipped. Good. Let's take this drill down. The other, not drill, impact wrench. I'm going to get a little knife, just in case, oh, see that? Just in case I have to cut more, uh, just in case I have to cut more tape. 
And that's a T from when I finish up. I love this little kangaroo pouch on these coveralls. Okay, here we go. nuts in there. One. And just slide it over to about here. It's like being back at work, you guys. Yes, this was surplus stuff I got from work. Turn you off for a minute and we'll go to plan B. Alright, now we're going to move over and just see what our rig is. Tied on both axles so that the straps so that the straps don't come in and damage the hood. See it's they're tied there and same thing over there. And uh, now we're just going to jack this up carefully. I may have to pull the neutral switch and take off the brake, eh? There it is. Oh, this is a nice tractor. It's a 1996. that nut. Not bad. So now we're going to just change the angle of the dangle a little bit. The first time I've done this, up until this point I've just used my car floor gel. Which 
gonna make a couple more knots. I had to knot this side because you can't do the double loop on either side. Like the slip through. Not as good as I can do, maybe a little more. Nothing's gonna come off. We're good. Now we can have a look at it, just you and I at the same time. It's got a light. Hey buddy, can I have a light? Oh. Wrong light. Where did that go? Okay. Come with me. So look at the look at the broccoli underneath there, eh? And I think that is the one that has given me the rooster tail. Now the way it's designed is this one is set in a little deeper, but not too deep, so that these two guys don't hit. But they're they're going to be close, right? So I'm just going to make sure everything's super safe before I carry on here. Good. Good. Now, I've got my little chair. Well, they could definitely use a sharpen. So though, oh no, I'd like it. So there is an overlap. There's a bit of a gap there, all right. Now what about the other side? It's quite interesting, isn't it? A lot of be a lot of science involved in this. Okay, so big and little. That's the big one. No, they won't slip. So the... Oh, that's really quite interesting. Huh. Well, they got to be sharpened. That's for sure. And you know, there is... They might just be dull. Wouldn't that be something? I'm going to sharpen them. And clean them up, of course. So I'm going to take them off and compare all three sets. And then we'll lower it down so we don't burn the place down, right? Right, close. So that's pretty interesting. So let's get those off of there. What is that, a three-quarter? Okay, we're going to use air. You might hear the air compressor. That's been sitting for a week, my friends, and I have not lost enough of the air compressor to uh, have, the, have it come on. So you'll see one and then I'm going to turn you off because I want to get this back a level a bit uh, because of the uh, gas spilling out of the bottom of the tank there. One. Okay, let's get you guys out of here. Hi guys. So I got them off. And the nut was an 18 millimeter. So I'm just going to lower this down so we don't drip any more fuel down over there. It should stop dripping at about halfway. Oh. Bitch. 
space so I know what I'm so I can work. Look at that bench! Looks like a dog's breakfast. Alright my friends, this is the uh, tractor. I'm just using my lift to support the subtract the tractor and take 80% of the weight off the roof. Because really, in real terms, that bar is holding the whole tractor, although it's cross beamed to one, two, three, four, five, six joists with a two by no with a four by six up there. But you go, always be careful. So I'm gonna go for lunch and we'll come back and have some fun. Alright my friends, I'm gonna remove the lift, lift up the mower, clean the broccoli out of there as best I can. This one's a plastic insert and it's really sticky. And then we'll put the blades on. Now it's going to start leaking fuel again. to see how much um, how much broccoli actually lives under here. There we go. I'm on my little stool. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So here we are up in here. Right? That's kind of our main objective right there. And I'm just going to scrape all the broccoli and hoo-ha out from underneath there. And this is my egg turner. And these are my gloves. These are perfect for this. But you don't want to wear these gloves when you're using a grinder. Because they'll suck your fingers right in. All these little rubber dimples, eh? So I'm just going to... I can feel the... Uh, I can feel the heat coming off the motor cell. Okay, here we go. Let's try the brush. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, so you're getting the idea. You guys don't need to watch an hour of this. why this thing gets so much broccoli underneath is because of the uh, it's a full mulching deck unless you buy there's a there's a rear chute you can take off and and I don't have that and I don't want it because I love the way the mulch looks when I'm done okay there's the broccoli not bad I've gotten more out of a push mower. Now, there is underneath there, uh, there are pieces of plastic that just won't let go, but, but it is good. As you can see, it's good. And I'm just gonna pop the blades on now. Okay, I did a quick check of the belts. They look fine. And I'm gonna lower them down. measurement of the deck to see if it's uh, the right height. Okay, that's how much broccoli I got out of there. 
and I blew, oh look at that, there's still some fuzz there, look at that. I, I blew off the engine as best I could, and uh, this is a filter for the air, for the, this is a air, this was water cooled, eh? That's the radiator, and that's just a, a fluff filter for the radiator. And uh, she's ready to go, I, I had to put air in the tires and that really helped with my deck height. And there's all kinds of controversy about how high the deck should be, but there it is. That's just about perfect. I keep it just a tiny bit lower at the nose than at the back. So there's my John Deere LX178. I guess we should check the oil in it after all that um, tilting and all that stuff, right? Uh, right behind the brake pedal should be there. It's good, and it's not even dirty yet. So let's take it for a ride. I need my door opener. Door opener. I'm going to pick you guys up on the way out of here. Got a cleanup coming. So do you think that was gas or water? I'll have to check and see if it's antifreeze. Mrs. P's gone to the gym. And this is what this is my gym right in here. So let me just get cleaned up. Alright guys. I just cut my lawn. There's no more rooster tails, with the, just with the sharpened blades, and then I kind of rearranged them so that the, I put the uh, the one narrow upper blade in the middle. And I didn't have to overlap, as you can see. There's one track, two tracks, three tracks there, and there's no overlap. So this will uh, this will go with the LX178 blades video. We're just, we're getting a storm here. It's going to rain for like three days, which we need. But I'm worried about the big city to the south of us flooding. Thanks, guys.